in a village, there lived a crane in a huge banyan tree. He was lucky enough to have a big pond full of fishes near the same banyan tree, so he used to have a hearty meal without any effort. As he grew old, he started losing his ability to catch the fish. Soon, the crane started starving and became very weak. He realized, hmm, I need to use some tricks for my survival. The next day, he went to the pond as usual. This time, instead of trying to catch the fish, he stood there with a very sad face. A crab who lived near the pond asked, Sir, you look very sad today. What happened? The crane replied, I heard the villagers are planning to fill the pond. I am worried that all the fishes in this lake would die and I may have to look for another place for food. The crab immediately told his fish friends about the news. The fish, on hearing the news, got scared and requested the crane to help them. The crane was happy to see his idea worked. He told the fish, Okay, the only way I can help you is by carrying some of you each day to a nearby pond. The fish were overjoyed to hear this. So every day, the crane came to the pond and picked up some fish in his beak and flew off. Then came the turn of the crab. As usual, the crane picked up the crab on his beak and flew off. After flying for some distance, the crab asked, Sir, how far is the new pond? The crane laughed and said, <laughs> I'm not a fool to help you. He pointed to a rock covered with fish bones and said, See, this is where your friends have met with their end, and now it's your turn. <laughs> The crab got very angry. He decided to teach the crane a lesson. He pierced the neck of the crane with his sharp arms. The helpless crane, unable to fly, fell to the ground and met with his end. The crab returned to the pond. He told the other fish about how the crane cheated them and told them how he managed to kill the wicked crane. We reap only what we sow.